I'm Hannah and I'm 29 just and I work in a property company by day and run a choir by night because I don't mind talking and it was a favour for a friend and it's um, something I've changed my opinion on over the last few years. Probably at school, I can't specifically remember, um, but I guess when you get you start drinking, you start going to clubs, and there are things that people go off and do on on the sly, you know, um, <laughs> sort of dark corners or whatever. And um, also, my parents are both secondary school teachers, and so I think issues like you know illegal drugs, teenage pregnancy, things like that, were stuff that came home and were talked about. If if one of their pupils had got involved in something, obviously very hush hush, not in front of the children, but obviously we picked up on various things. Um, my grandma smoked and my parents hated that and so I've always been very anti-smoking as well. Um, it didn't make her ill but she wasn't allowed to have certain operations because she smoked. It's just never ever been something that's appealed to me. Um, alcohol has appealed to me quite a lot since I was about 16 but my parents are not big drinkers at all. As I say they'll have like a glass of wine or a beer or something and they're gone. So yeah not a big thing at all. My brother still doesn't really drink. Not at all. I don't think it even crossed their mind that we would be interested at all. Um, I do remember my dad finding half a paracetamol on the carpet when I was about 24 and sitting us down at the dining room table and asking what it was, genuinely. And I think it even said paracetamol on it. Um, so that was pretty funny, but he was being serious. So no, that, that's the only conversation we ever had. I definitely enjoy my wine. I spent some time in France during my gap year. And um, yeah, I, I think I tried pretty much every French wine that's possible. So I'm very much a wine sort of drinker and, you know, like a bit of fizz and that kind of thing. I don't drink every day, um, but it's unusual for me to limit myself to one glass. So if I've had one glass, I'll have two or three. Um, and if I'm at a party, it kind of, it doesn't get out of control, but I definitely will have another drink every hour type thing. I don't really think, oh, I've had my 14 units, I'd better stop. Um, uh, I don't get ill from it anymore or anything like that. I wouldn't say I drink to excess, but I know I do go way over the um, the legal limit. So not the legal limit, the advised limit. Like the taste of it, I wouldn't. I never drink beer because I hate the taste of it. So it's not just about the effect it has on me. I really genuinely enjoy it. Um, but it does make me more relaxed. Um, but I, I I wouldn't drink for that. Lots of things make me relax. Having a bath makes me relax. Reading a book makes me relax. But it's it's become a part of my kind of social setup. Um, that if you go out for a meal, you have a bottle of wine, you get a bit giggly. For me, it doesn't have a bad effect on me at all. I don't get miserable, I don't get angry. So it just kind of, um, I wouldn't say enhances the enjoyment of an evening, because if I'm with my friends, I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. But yeah, it definitely makes me a bit more giggly, a bit more relaxed. I'm quite open anyway, but perhaps a little bit more open. And I quite like that. You know, it's fun to have risque conversation and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it's def it is an enhancer, definitely. And a drug. <laughs> uh, you can grow it in your greenhouse. <laughs> um, you can either smoke it or you can eat it. Um, I really don't know very much. Do you know what it would look like if you were holding it in your hand? I wouldn't have a clue. I wouldn't have a clue. I'd say like thyme, it, you know, like a jar of herbs <laughs> or leaves. <laughs> I don't know. In the cases that I've seen, it makes people just extremely chilled and extremely happy um, and just feeling great about the world, about themselves. Um, I've also seen it enjoy, induce kind of major paranoia in people, um, but only once or twice. And people I, I knew well enough to think they're feeling really paranoid. I'm not sure I would have spotted it, you know, if I didn't know them really well terrifies me no very little very very little wouldn't touch it with a barge pole most things you hear about ecstasy is that someone's died from taking too much of it you know it's just it doesn't have a great press definitely doesn't have a great press and i'm afraid i'm one of those people that's just like yeah not interested it sounds horrific um out of body experience uh wanting to appreciate something on a on a different level um Maybe wanting to escape from where they are, you know, wanting to make things completely different to, to what they are. I don't know if that's one of the ones where you sort of get hallucinations and stuff. Um, and people have said that it's, it, 
it makes it much more fun if you're if you were to dance or something and you know just it's a whole different experience really different experience but I've even heard people say they like taking stuff you know before they have sex and things like that and that it's better than it is if you're if you haven't taken anything which I think is really sad um actually really really sad virtually nothing really nothing again that's something that you might take if you were going clubbing or I don't know yeah I don't really know much you see, I kind of lump them all into the same the same kind of packet, so I'm going to say all the same things. Um, but that's another one that has a really bad, really, really bad press. I think that's one you do with needles. Um, but I'm sure it comes in a pill form as well. Um, but I don't know, powder. Um, <laughs> it must be like some kind of complete escapism. It must be. I'm going to put it in the same packet. <laughs> I think you might snort that. <laughs> I don't know if I've had more exposure to cannabis, so I'm judging it less harshly. Um, that might be why, that might be a factor. Um, and it doesn't get as much bad press as the others, you know. And it obviously, because, you know, there's a country just over the water where it's absolutely fine. Um, you know, you can go into cafes and smoke it and buy it and all that kind of thing. I'm kind of thinking we're all part of, the, you know, it was the same sort of continent basically well just over the water how can it be completely fine in one country and then in this country it's like you know work of the devil okay so the drugs that are legal are alcohol um i think this is the thing i've really changed my opinion on whether it's fair or not i think you know you just accept it when you're younger and then as you get older you think um or not get older but get more sort of experience you um, you realise that it is actually just as damaging um, and people do die from alcohol related diseases and they do injure themselves and they can be incredibly violent and they can be incredibly unhappy um, and it is just as addictive and it can be just as expensive and all the rest of it. Um, so at this point in my life I, I can say I, it doesn't really make sense to me why one thing would be more, um, what w would be legal and one wouldn't. Um, the only thing I, I suppose it's 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 habits isn't it you know we've been drinking but I'm sure people have been taking drugs but we've been drinking alcohol since forever and it, you know wine is used in churches the monks make cider in monasteries you know alcohol is seen as a very very acceptable um part of a meal you know a lot of people won't have a meal if they don't have a glass of wine with it I'm one of them I drink far less tea than I used to. Um, I drink mainly herbal teas now because coffee I'm drinking more of at the moment because I'm absolutely shattered. And I do find, because I hardly drink it, that when I have a coffee, it's like, and I'm awake again. So I don't really enjoy it, but it's it, at the moment I am using it as a stimulant. I know that going to bed earlier and eating some more fruit and veg would be, would be better. But quite frankly, if I've got five minutes, <laughs> it's like coffee machine. <laughs> Um, when I was at university, that happened more. Like, I did know the people that would, you know, get a pill or something for a party. Um, but I didn't like that, and I would always sort of, sort of go home at that point because that wasn't really where I wanted to be, and everyone was suddenly just kind of mung out on the sofas and, you know, not, not really speak a lot for the rest of the evening. So as soon as that kind of thing started happening, I was just off. I have one friend that uses illegal drugs. Yeah. She is the first person I've really known very well who has taken illegal drugs um, quite happily and quite quite regularly, although I wouldn't say it's a regular thing. So yeah, she has, uh, we've had a lot of conversations about, I'm completely naive, and certainly was completely naive when I met her about all of these things. And um, I just found it really odd. I couldn't understand how an educated, cultured, um, interesting, you know, sort of happy person would want to do that. Why would she need to do that? Um, you know, it kind of made me quite worried. Um, yeah, I do, I do feel like that, that side of her, to me, that's her dark side. But I think she would describe it as the, the part where she feels most comfortable, where she can really be herself. Not the actual experience of taking the drugs, but being in a place where she can take drugs and where she feels like she's not being judged for it. Um, and you can do it, you don't have to do it, there's no pressure um, and all the rest of it. I, I still struggle to believe there isn't pressure. You know, I think if you're in certain environments it's really difficult not to do certain things. Um, but she she 
genuinely seems to not feel the pressure so so that's great um but yeah for me it's it's a side of her i, I will never quite understand because i think she's got so much going for her anyway i don't see why she would want to kind of escape from that or but obviously not under fully understanding the effects of drugs i can't really make a judgment on that but why she would want to enhance an experience to that extent that she's hallucinating and that she's doing you know this that and the other um but she drinks far less than i do i would have said um, and she can go she can go out dancing for a night and not take anything and not drink anything um and i can do that but i would rather have a drink I certainly have been clubbing without drinking and it's been fine, but I would have enjoyed it more if I just had one drink just to kind of chill me out a little bit. But she has a very, very healthy lifestyle anyway. She eats extremely healthily. She walks a lot. She gets a lot of sleep. Um, so I can't, I can't say that what she's doing is completely ridiculous because everything else she's really good at. So, you know... She understands the risks when she does things. I think the thing that has really got to me, and I and this is where we have to stop having conversations about it because I, I get really angry, is when she's had an experience with something, say ecstasy, and it's been awful. And there was one incident about two years ago where she took something and she said, she said to me afterwards, I thought I was going to die. Now, if you've had that experience, how can you possibly want to repeat it? I don't understand that. It's such a risk. It's such a risk. You don't know what you're getting. If they're still illegal, um, then I hope, I like to think I'd have a pretty honest conversation with them about a lot of things. You know, at the beginning of secondary school, it's too late to leave it after that. I think I think my mum talked to me about sex when I was 22. I was like, too late, sorry. <laughs> but, you know, um, it, yeah, I think I'd, I'd like to have a really honest conversation. Just say, look, here, here's the situation. This is legal. This isn't legal don't really want you to be doing any of it but I would rather know I hope I'd, I'd have that attitude because I never ever want to get a call from a hospital saying you know your child's been in here for three days they've had they've taken an overdose and they were too scared to tell you I mean I can't imagine anything worse than that so I don't know I just I would I would just like to have a really honest conversation with them about it and just explain I I need to improve my own knowledge before I do that I would want to talk to them about what each thing was what forms it might come in um you know and how they felt about it you know how do you feel about you know hallucinating I would need to do a hell of a lot of research yeah there are no kids coming right now so that's fine <laughs> I think I'd want to know why I'd, I'd want to talk about their motivation because actually what they want to do is, is not is not as important as why they want to do it um, and what effect I think I'd want to know what effect they thought the drugs were going to have on them you know if they're saying to me um, I think I'm thinking about trying drugs just because you know it's an experiment and why not then that would be quite a difficult conversation for me to have because I'd be like that's stupid why do some why start drinking if you don't have to just because you want to try it if you enjoy wine then fine start drinking but um you know don't don't just go off and do something because everyone else is or because you want to experiment but if someone then said to me oh it's because i've got a really crap home life and i i want to be somewhere else most of the time i'd, I'd try and talk to them about it i'd try and help them you know and, and hopefully stop them getting through to the stage i mean i think if you're well adjusted if you're happy then do whatever you like it's your body actually um, I would never want to take certain things. It's not something that interests me. I think it's very dangerous the way it is at the moment because you could get anything. You don't know where it's coming from. The whole the whole thing about, you know, exchanging dirty five pound notes on the street court, it's just all horrible, 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 horrible. If you're happy and well adjusted, then you have to make that decision yourself. You know, do you want to break the law? Okay, if you want to, fine. No. Um, no, I don't and this I think this is probably what I've changed my opinion on over the last few years because I would have said a few years ago yes absolutely the law's there so that but it doesn't the laws laws don't stop anybody you know it, it's illegal to kill people people kill people it's illegal to um to commit suicide people commit suicide it's illegal to do an awful lot of things people want to do them they're going to do them anyway um and and also again with the whole alcohol thing it's it's legal and and look how much goes wrong you know because people if, pe if people can't control their drinking their eating their taking drugs their violence a law is not going to make any difference 
I am not against drugs being legalised because I think that, as I've said, if people are going to do them, they're going to do them anyway. I'm going to take them, I'm going to take them anyway. Um, and if they were legal, at least there would be a safe place in which people who could afford to could buy them, see the ingredients, judge for themselves what it is they're putting into their bodies. Um, that would be a good thing. In terms of protecting vulnerable people, um, until we work out with our social services how to pick up those vulnerable people at an early age or, you know, when they first go on the streets or, you know, when they're abused or whatever, and until we learn to pick up those people then, you know, doing anything with drugs or alcohol or anything else is kind of irrelevant. I wouldn't try any. Um, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm really not interested. No, I, w I wouldn't try any. Honestly, I'm quite happy with the alcohol.